U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken says Israel has accepted the latest bridging proposal on a Gaza ceasefire deal, urging Hamas to do the same. However, Hamas has criticised the claim, accusing Washington of favouring Israel. Blinken said Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has assured him of his support for a U.S. proposal to bridge gaps on a Gaza ceasefire. His comments came after a two and a half hour long meeting with Netanyahu. In a very constructive meeting with uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu today, uh, he confirmed to me that Israel accepts the bridging proposal, uh, that he supports it. It's now incumbent on Hamas to do the same. Blinken reiterated that the US was fully prepared to defend Israel in case of any aggression by Iran or Hezbollah. In recent uh, weeks, given the heightened tensions, we have deployed additional assets to the region. Uh, the purpose of the deployment of these assets is not to provoke aggression, but rather to deter, uh, to make sure that it doesn't happen. Uh, but also to make clear that if it does, we are fully prepared to defend Israel. Blinken also said that Netanyahu promised to send an Israeli team to new talks scheduled this week in Cairo. He added that Israel also agreed to support efforts to vaccinate Gazans for polio after its first reported case of the disease in 25 years. Netanyahu said he sought to free a maximum number of hostages in the first stage of a ceasefire deal. Blinken, on his ninth trip to the region since the war began, also met Israeli President Isaac Herzog and Defence Minister Yoav Gallant. Blinken left for Egypt and will later travel to Qatar to push for the truce. In Israel, families of hostages continued their protests, urging a deal. My dad, we try to bring them home to us. Bring them home to USA. Bring our children home to Talks in Qatar seeking a ceasefire and hostage return agreement last week paused without a breakthrough. They're expected to resume this week based on the US proposal. Hamas, who did not take part in the Doha talks directly, criticised Blinken's claim, saying it raises many ambiguities. It said that the proposal was not what was presented to us, nor what we agreed on. comes as Hamas took responsibility for a blast in Tel Aviv on Sunday and announced a resumption of suicide bombing inside Israel after many years. Meanwhile, Gaza health authorities claim that Israeli military strikes killed at least 30 Palestinians across the Gaza Strip on Monday. The Israeli military said its air force struck a number of Hezbollah weapons storage facilities in Lebanon's eastern Beka Valley. Lebanese state media reported that at least three Israeli airstrikes hit towns in the Baalbek district. Lebanon's health ministry said that eight people were injured, including six Lebanese citizens and two Syrian children. Well, for more on this, we've been joined by our correspondent Jody Cohen, live from Rana. Now, Jody, what's the latest on these peace talks? Have they now actually fallen apart? So Israel has accepted the US bridging proposal and is sending top level negotiators to Cairo for more talks on a long term proposal. Now, at the DNC, President Biden said that the administration is working around the clock 
for a ceasefire. Now, the US Secretary of State Blinken is in Egypt on Tuesday for meetings on the deal, but President Biden has now accused Hamas of backing away from a deal. Now, Hamas took responsibility for sending a suicide bomber to Tel Aviv. The attack failed because the detonator went off early, killing the terrorists and wounding a passerby. But Hamas has vowed to carry out more suicide attacks. Now, the Wall Street Journal has suggested that Hamas is seeking to expand the conflict further by launching attacks from the West Bank. And on Tuesday morning, Hezbollah has fired 55 rockets into northern Israel. In the meantime, mediators are waiting for Hamas's official response to the US-backed proposal and to hear if Hamas would send a delegation to Cairo. And Blinken has told families of some of the hostages that mediators are pressing Hamas to accept. Yeah, so Johnny, can you tell us a little bit more about that US bridging proposal? So not too much is known publicly about the bridging proposal. Secretary of State Blinken said that the next important step is for Hamas to say yes, and then in the coming days for all the expert negotiators to work on a clear understanding on implementing the agreement. And he said that there are still complex issues and it's going to require hard decisions. Now, in Prime Minister Netanyahu's comments, he said that Israel had accepted the proposal and emphasized efforts to have the maximum number of living hostages freed in the first phase of the deal. So that might potentially suggest that the hostages released would not all be living or that other compromises have had to be made in order to achieve this. Now, according to reports, Israel has agreed to gradually but not 100 percent scale down its presence in the Philadelphia corridor between Gaza and Egypt. And it's not clear if a mechanism has been agreed to prevent the return of armed Hamas forces to northern Gaza. Meanwhile, Defense Minister Gallant has said to Secretary of State Antony Blinken that Israel, Israeli military pressure on Hamas Hamas and US political pressure on Hamas is necessary until a framework is achieved that would enable the return of hostages.